let's continue with uh, one of my favorite practices shouting home pets a lot of them to shed off some of that tiredness it's a very good practice to do especially now when we are having the first day of the retreat so it's very good practice for the first few days of the retreat to do a lots of dynamic concentration because it uh, not only cuts through the layers of the samsaric mind but and establishes recognition of Buddha nature but it also sends when we use the voice strongly it sends a, like a wave of wave of vibration through the whole bone structure like if you start chanting Hu and you feel with your fingers how the body vibrates and that same happens but it's just more rapid you know hung pet hung pet you know these vibrations going through the physical body and that's very good for the physical body so yeah let's, let's shout hung pet and as a reminder hung is the seed syllable of the subconscious mind meaning Bumi's first through thin, ten so it covers the whole subconscious mind and it, it's kind of like what it does is that um, you know if we look at the energy system we have Bumi's first through six inside the in the centers inside the physical body and then seven eight nine ten in the aura around the physical body so what hung does it, it kind of sense puts an energy of activation in that whole system inside and outside the body so you activate kind of wake up it's kind of like it's electric shock it's it's not a good analogy because electric shocks don't feel good but it's something like that it sends a positive shock wave into the whole system and then pet cuts through the whole system so that's why we do hung pets <clears throat> for the sake of all sentient beings doing dynamic concentration practice out of our sincere motivations and actually out of kindness and out of wisdom also with joy don't do it seriously if it's serious it doesn't feel that good so it sh should feel light and joyful light like a feather light <clears throat> it's it if it's heavy and serious <clears throat> that's how we end up in trouble in the first place <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh. 
홍, 펫, 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 홍, 펫. Relax. Relax everything. I'm being completely passive. Passive. Inactive. Recognition takes place by itself. Recognition of the Buddha bodies. Another set. <clears throat> hung, pet, 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 hung. Hong pet, 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 hong pet. Hong pet, 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 hong pet. And again, <clears throat> Hong Pet, Hong Pet, 
홍, 패, 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 
Yesterday I was talking about Vipassana regarding uh, mind objects that appear and disappear, come and, come and go in the mind. Use those instructions. What's the size, form of those mind objects? Small, bigger, big, where they are located in the body-mind space. What's the texture, flavor, feel, and what is inside those mind objects? If you don't have any mind objects showing up, then be just like you are. But if something comes up and it makes you distracted or irritated, frustrated, anxious, angry, anything, use the instructions. One very useful place when we identify with any self-based state, one very useful location to clarify where to apply Vipassana instruction is behind the eyes, inside the head. That's where the subject self is uh, released with the two-part formula. But when we identify with, be it anger or anxiousness, for example, or fear, it, this emotion assumes this position behind the eyes. It's sort of like that seat is um, used again by these samsaric emotions. So bring attention there. If you feel pissed off, frustrated, bring attention there and pop the self bubble from there remember this simple instruction or when we have dark nights you can be sure that there's a hook and um, this is an uh, like an analogy that there's a hook attached hook caught there behind the eyes
One thing that is kind of uh, prior to Vipassana and I think is really important for us Westerners um, is that we don't suppress emotions. So, you know, we are allowed and as human beings we have emotions. So the point is not to, um, how should I say, it's not to, it's not to not have emotions. That is not the point. So, so the point is not to keep or stay away from emotions or reactions but when if and when emotions uh, make us contracted then while feeling that emotion um, perceiving the heart of it so to speak going right into the center of it to release that contractedness. So the so the point is not at all to remain without emotions without mind functioning as if hitting a hum hammer on the head of emotion the moment it appears that is absolutely not the point we have practice called Ruchen um, that is done it's actually you know you, you, it might seem that it's a physical practice but it's actually physical and psychological, Ruchen, where we purposefully let ourselves feel different emotions, suppressed emotions, we, and we allow whatever is kept under the, under the lid, we let it be released. Sadness, anxiety, anger, uh, hysteria, laughter, whatever it is, we let it come out in Roshan practice. I kind of start to feel that it would be a current practice for this group, but it's, it's not easy to do it through the internet because uh, you can't see me and I can't see you well. So maybe I'll th think about it, but nevertheless Roshan is very good for understanding that emotions are not dangerous and are not the enemy.
All right, let's again continue for a moment lying down.